EMF390 are designed and developed by GQ Electronics in Seattle, Washington. They can be used in general purpose detection and for measuring the EF, EMF, and RF radiation levels from many different devices such as power lines, Wi-Fi routers, cell phones, cell towers, microwave ovens, smart meters, etc. The meter can give the readings of EMF, EF, and RF on the same screen at the same time with an audible alert if they reach dangerous levels. It can also be switched to dedicated screens to give more details for each type of field. The display on the screen is bright and the display font is large enough for all users. The meter also has the ability to identify the possible source. This will let you know the possible source of radiation around you, such as power lines, Wi-Fi, phones, cell towers, smart meters, microwaves, etc. The RF browser is a unique feature of the GQ EMF meter. Users are able to see how the RF signal changes in real time. Users may select different display modes to see the RF power distribution graph or RF digital volume in real time. The RF spectrum analyzer is an advanced feature for analyzing the RF signal. It shows the RF signal frequency and level in a real time graph. The RF spectrum analyzer has higher sensitivity and works on small RF signals. Users are able to see multiple RF signals on the spectrum graph. It can also be used to detect weak RF signals. For example, a microwave RF leaking signal can be detected over 100 feet away. The EMF390 has enriched features. It's not just a meter, it's also a teacher. It will let you know much more than other EMF meters. If you intend to learn, then it will not disappoint you. Most of us are used to the conveniences of modern life but few of us are aware of the invisible radiation from modern electronic products such as cell phones, microwaves, Wi-Fi routers, computers, and other appliances. These radiations are called electromagnetic field and RF radiation. Research data has shown that electromagnetic and RF radiation can have a harmful effect on human DNA. In this case, detecting and measuring the EMF and RF radiation levels is essential. The EMFs are for electric magnetic fields. They are measured in milligauss. The Environmental Protection Agency recommends that you limit your exposure up to 2.5 milligauss. In reality, many appliances have more than 50 milligauss readings when you are close to them. RFs are radio frequency radiations, which are measured in milliwatts per square meter. Different countries may have different safety standards. We recommend that you should avoid RF readings higher than 10 milliwatts per square meter. In fact, when you are three feet away from some microwaves, you are exposed to up to 10 times higher than standard levels. EFs are referring to electric fields. The EF strength is measured in volt per meter. EFs can be AC EF or static EF. We recommend that you avoid AC EF readings of 50 volts per meter or higher. The static EF is the static electricity, which you may not need to worry about in cases of higher readings. There are many cases of high static electricity in our daily life. For example, when you take off your wool clothes, it may generate more than 1,000 volts of static electricity. All radiations have directions. Remember to always adjust the direction to get the best reading. Cell towers are the main sources of RF radiation, and it's normal if the reading fluctuates. The recommended safe level should be less than 10 milliwatts per square meter. The Trifield meter model TF2 measures electromagnetic pollution. Five numbers can be measured, and it's preferred that all five be below these levels. Using this meter, check the areas where you spend time. If one of the numbers is high in a given location, you can take action to reduce exposure. Periodically check again because of new construction and cell tower installations, etc. The five measurements are magnetic field, electric field, frequency weighted magnetic, which emphasizes higher magnetic field frequencies, frequency weighted electric, which emphasizes higher electric field frequencies, and RF, which measures the strength of radio and microwaves, including all 5G installations capable of penetrating the home. You can measure the present value of the field, 
and also the highest value that's occurred in the past five seconds, and you can follow fast changes here. Surprisingly, small power lines may have very low magnetic field, but always have a high electric field. Fortunately, this electric field rarely gets into the house because it's easily shielded by construction materials or even by your hand. Larger power lines usually do have a significant magnetic field. This field can penetrate into the house. These larger power lines also have a high electric field. Cell towers emit quite a lot of RF. These digital signals fluctuate and may be hard to read from the large numerals, so the peak is easier to read. This is a dimmer switch that's dimmed. There is some RF present. Note that although the sound icon is on, the sound from this meter is not very loud, so it can't be heard in noisy environments. Looking at the other fields, the weighted electric is about 25, weighted magnetic about 20, standard electric about 30, and standard magnetic 8.9. When the dimmer switch is turned to full power, standard magnetic rises, and the electric fields stay about the same. But the weighted magnetic decreases to the same value as the standard magnetic, because high frequencies from the dimmer are no longer present. This is an electric stove that's off. There's some high magnetic field, probably from the clock. When the burner is turned on, the field rises significantly. The electric field is high near the clock, but surprisingly very high near the refrigerator. Usually this high electric field can be fixed just by unplugging the refrigerator and plugging it back in with reversed polarity. This is RF near a Wi-Fi router. It's pulsing fast, so the peak number is easiest to read. Smart meters from the electric company only pulse about once a minute, so set to RF and wait. There. Other smart meters from the gas or water companies may only pulse once a day, so it's probably pointless to try to measure them. Regular landline telephones normally have no RF, but in this case, a nearby cell tower seems to be contaminating the telephone wires. All microwave ovens leak a large amount of RF when on. These are the values close to the oven after it's warmed up. Note that the peak number holds for five seconds, so wait for it to settle. By about 25 feet away, numbers are much lower. Cell phones can have significant RF unless you use earphones to distance yourself. Laptops, when streaming data, actually have a fairly low RF output. Some appliances have a very high magnetic field when turned on. They can also have a high electric field even when off, if plugged in incorrectly. Also, your body influences the nearby electric field. This means that you should hold the meter when measuring electric field in order to measure what you're actually being exposed to. The Trifield Meter Model TF2. Measure, know, relax.